So anyway, I go to, uh, you know, it's Black, Fr- you know, Black Friday. I spend all day on Thanksgiving. Everybody's talking about Black Friday specials, Black Friday this, Black Friday that. It's a, it, where they where everything gets sold uh, cheaper at the store. And usually the stores open at 6 a.m., open at 5 a.m. These stores now are opening at midnight. Midnight. Best Buy, open at midnight. And I'm saying to myself all day, that's so sick. It's sick that they would open a store at midnight. Like, what? I, I, what what are they what what's the message they're sending there to a uh, to a uh, to to a, a, a someone who made Thanksgiving imagine this you're you're a mom you made Thanksgiving you did all the cooking right for Thanksgiving you made a, you did all the cooking on Thanksgiving and then you uh then you served every. You got it first thing in the morning. You served everybody. You got all the food. Everybody ate. Then you you got stuck cleaning the house while while the, all the your your you know your your blob of a husband is sound asleep on the couch. And everybody van they do the they they duck out when it's cleaning up time. So they're gone. You're cleaning up. Now suddenly you gotta you gotta go get up f- five hours later. And start your Christmas shopping at midnight. It's going to get to the point where uh, Thanksgiving, they're going, to, they're going to do away with Thanksgiving and make it Black Friday is going to be the dominant thing. Yeah, people aren't celebrating Thanksgiving uh, this year where they're too busy celebrating Black Friday. Because the, the stores opened at 8 o'clock at night on Thanksgiving. They're going to start sliding it back earlier. Yeah, apparently now Thanksgiving is uh, is over. People can people can uh, get a, a turkey sandwich at Target. So I'm 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 shocked and sickened by where this is at. Then all of a sudden, though, starts creeping along. It's midnight. I'm up. Start saying to myself, "Man, maybe I should go see what those losers look look like lined up outside the Best Buy. Let me go take a look at those idiots. You know, these sad sacks with no life." So then I'm like, "Nah, I'm not going to do that." Around two in the morning, eh? Just grab my jacket, walk out. All right, I'll go. I'm just as bad as everybody. Because I'm up. I'm up. And it's such a perverse thing to me that a store is open at 3 in the morning. And I go to the, the I go there. They're literally at, uh, by the time I get there, it's like a, a quarter of 3. And they're still like letting people in in bursts because the place is too crowded. And I get in there. And it's it's just like what you what it's like every news report. It was just like every one of them. People are running around like animals, shoving each other, lined up for for a computer stuff and flat screen TVs within the store. But I'm not look. I, I'm not interested in that. I, I'm in. The, I'm looking for a DVDs. That's all I want. Some DVDs and maybe a, a, a portable hard drive. To back my stuff up. That's all I want. Simple needs. So I go in there. I'm walking around. I start grabbing some DVDs, grab some Blu-ray stuff. I grab a uh, uh, Friday Night Lights. I buy the complete series box for like fifty dollars. I, I get the Wire, which I, you know, look. I know I'm behind on the Wire. I'm not. I'm not like Bill Simmons, bad mouthing it, and then I'm gonna act like the world's biggest wire fan. I promise you this, when I watch this thing, I'm not going to uh, do all these wire references on the show. Not going to do it. Not going to act like I'm up to speed now. I mean, what are the characters names on that thing? I was here everybody talk about uh 
Uncle Uncle What or something? There's like Uncle Something. There's like who is that? Uncle Omar. Uncle Omar? I hear people talk about Uncle. There's a is it Omar or Uncle Omar? And then the one. Sometimes I can't tell which ones are on the wire and which ones are on Jersey Shore. Character wise, you know the difference, right? Right, Mike. So Omar is on the wire, right? Which one is Jay Wow on? Jersey Shore. Okay. So I get all these things. And I'm like, all right, let me get out of here. They didn't have a they didn't have a a, a hard drive for a portable drive priced uh, to what I was looking for. So I'm like, let me get out of here. I get on this line, it's literally snakes halfway through the store of people waiting to pay for stuff. And it's it's kind of like what 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 are we about here, guys? It's like what's the what's the thing with America? Are like are we broke or can we just buy stuff all the time? Like getting mixed mixed signals. Like, do we actually have money? And we because this place it was a zoo. People weren't just buying. Trust me. The other thing with that, these people, there were so many people that that was not Christmas shopping going on in there. That was, I am buying stuff for myself shopping. A lot of that going on in there. Not a whole lot of Christmas shopping going on in there. It was just kind of like a last chance to just buy stuff for yourself. Mike said, asked if people were drunk. No, people are not drunk in there. So I'm lined up on this thing. And in front of me are these two dumb guys. Then they're holding on to DVDs also. And I look at what they've got, cause I, and they're looking at what I got. Because everybody's trying to, like, gauge to see if they missed, the, if they missed something. And I look at what these guys got. They had the dumbest movies ever. Independence Day. 300. I, Robot. I ro like who's gonna buy I Robot? Need to watch I Robot again. So everyone's lined up. I bought Mad Madman season three for ten like like seven, eight dollars. Tell you one thing, they could have. Uh, you could you could have uh, built a, a stairway to heaven with all the uh, monk DVDs they had laying around that place. You <laughs> literally, somebody overprinted those. But actually, that is, it was nothing in comparison. There was a thing, ninety nine cent DVDs, ninety nine cent DVDs, and I look in this box. This long box, two movies in it, two movies, Casino Royale, which they must have made a billion of them, and Rocky Balboa. I, I'm saying, I'm telling hundreds of them, of each one, and no one was grabbing them for 99 cents. People were just like, yeah, I'm not going to watch that. So I'm online. And I'm looking at these guys. The line's moving so slow. These guys with their iRobot DVDs and Blu-rays. 300. The line's moving. And I was just thinking, is, man, these guys are watching the they're going to go home and watch the junkiest things ever. Then I look over on a counter cuz you know it's just they're moving like they've they've kind of reshaped the appliance department to work as aisles now. So we're walking down like a row of refrigerators that is kind of keeping us all in place. Seems a little bit like a fire hazard, but 
It's like a weird corn maze made out of refrigerators. So, uh, then I see a DVD that somebody set down and didn't buy. I'm getting close to the counter. It's a Blu-ray. I reach over. It's that movie Machete. Now, if you don't know what Machete is, remember that terrible uh, movie Grindhouse where it had all the dumb trailers for fake movies? That guy Robert Rodriguez who, who does these cheapo movies and brags about how cheap they were and that he he um, saved money from them, you know, like, but doesn't pass the save. It's not like tickets to his movies are $2.00. I don't care how much this guy saves. I'm not an an investor in his movie. So I see Machete, and now I got the fever. I pick Machete up. I'm like, wow, because they didn't have Machete over there when I looked. They were totally out of it. I found one of the final copies of Machete. Six dollars. And I'm on, (laughs) yeah, rare gold. And I'm online. I'm holding this copy of Machete. Like, I'm ready to buy this thing. Like, and it just was... And it, I, I had the fever. I was horrible. I'm ready. I'm literally ready to buy this Machete on Blu-ray. And now, look, in my house, I have... I have... Lawrence of Arabia on DVD. I've never watched it. I've had, I've owned it for eight years. I have yet to get around to watch it. And I'm going to go home and watch Machete first. And Machete, it's like, it's got uh, Danny Trejo in it. Uh, who, you know, that guy who's in every movie is like a biker. He's on Sons of Anarchy now. Which, by the way, I got to say, I'm totally into it now. Sons of Anarchy. Look, they make mistakes in every other episode, but it's like pulpy. It's like pulpy junk, and they they just move the thing at like a uh, uh, like a hundred miles an hour. It's kind of fun. I know I goof on them. There's some good stuff. It's like at least it's fun. Maybe not good, but it's fun. So I'm. Uh, and Robert De Niro is in it. Like, Robert, like, what happened to this guy? Does he have, like, some debt? Did he, like, does he, like, owe someone, like, literally a hundred million dollars? Like, like, he was in a casino and he bet a hundred million dollars at roulette to, like, red and black. And he's like, I'll take red. How much? hundred million dollars. <laughs> And it does, and it hits, like it lands on black. He's like, uh oh. I got to uh, pay off that debt. I just got to do every movie now. Movies anybody asks him to do, he just does all of them now. Hey, you want to be in Machete? Yeah, sure. New Year's Eve? Hey, I'll do it. He's in that Jason Statham movie that came out early. Like, like he's in, he's in this Jason Statham movie. The, the the remake of Killer Elite. Yeah, J- at this point, Jason Statham's probably like, is it really? Is there anybody else we can get? Sure, we can't keep looking around, see if anybody else wants to do this thing. Nah, I think we're gonna go with De Niro. Nah. So I'm online, and then finally, I come to my senses. And I set Machete down. I leave it for someone else. That's someone else's score. I didn't buy Machete. Thank you, Mike. Then I go to uh, the next day. You know, a uh, record store day? They actually did a record store day on Black Friday. And there were there were a couple a couple uh, nice uh, things with it, but still just a lot of stuff. They, 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 the record store day don't kill this guys, please, by just putting anything out and calling it a record store day release. 
these John Lennon things that no one wants. Imagine on 180 gram vinyl. Don't kill it. You got you got a good thing going for you. Don't kill it. And then I look at a flyer when I get home. Staples has the the disk drive I'm looking for. Black Friday. Staples has it. Fine. I'll get up. I'll go over and see if Staples still has it. I go over, looking for this portable uh, hard drive. They have them locked in a case. So I go over and I see it. They have one left in the case. One left. So now I'm at the case, but it's locked. Got to get an employee to get it. And now I start to think, what, what if I walk, I got to go track down an employee. Some dude's going to swoop in and get this thing. It's one left. So I, uh, I stand at the case and a, an employee walks by. And he, he was trying to do that thing that employees do at stores when they try to not see anyone. It's like, dude, you're walking right by me. Like, you're you're not you're not a horse with blinders on like you have peripheral vision so i just i say to him can i just uh i want that hard drive in there and he goes uh yeah check out over in uh, by the table over by the registers we're just like yeah i didn't see it over in the table so then he goes okay i'll go i'll go get the key and he doesn't come back and I'm standing there. Like, literally, now I'm at this end of the store that no employees are coming over to. And then I look, and I see this kid on the other side of the store helping a different customer. Like, he just abandoned me. Like, he didn't want to go get the key or whatever. And I'm standing there. I'm just wondering. I, I swear I stood there for 15 minutes in front of the case, just hoping to catch an employee's eye to come over and just l unlock the case so I can get this thing. Please. All I just want is one hard drive. And I'm standing there. Fifteen minutes. Finally, this one guy opens the... I uh, catch his eye from two aisles away. He comes over and takes pity on me and opens the case and uh, gets me the thing. I can't do this anymore. This is Black Friday, man. I can't. That's got to be the last one. I, I can't. I can't condemn it and then s sneakily buy a couple things off of it, one way or the other. I will spend all day railing ag uh, against it. Next thing, you fast forward. It's three in the morning. I, I got a copy of Machete in my hand. Literally. You find yourself at 3 in the morning with a, a, a Blu-ray of Machete waiting online for 20 minutes for the privilege of paying for stuff? I don't know how I ended up there. I got I can't let that... I got to figure what that... I don't know what that glitch is in my head, but I need to identify it and correct it. 3 in the morning. Well, it's machete. I mean, it, it, look, I know it's dumb. It's not like I'm going to watch it a bunch of times, but maybe I just uh, watch it once and I pass it along to somebody. That's a, I mean, if I was to get it off, uh, uh, you know, if I was to get it off a uh, video on demand, I mean, it would be $5 and it's a, this is 6 and then I own the thing and it's Blu-ray. I can start and stop it when I want. You know the other thing I hate at these stores when they're so crowded like that? Since it chills up my spine. When somebody walks past it and their hair <laughs> touches your hands. You know what I mean? You ever have that happen, Mike? 
when all of a sudden somebody walks like they walk back and they bump into you or something with the and then their he- their head touches your hands yeah like all of a sudden my I'll uh, just be like Ooh, I don't want to feel someone's weird hair bumping into me like you're you might be you, for people who don't know Mike's not very tall Five one at best. No, I'm kidding. Mike is what? What are you? Five ten? Six foot tall. Look at the second guy. I don't know about that. Six foot. I gotta check those shoes. He might be pulling a J. Edgar. Those things, because he had his desk raised. J. Edgar, like the most interesting thing in the movie. He had books under his desk to make it taller. <laughs> 